Uh, yeah, right, so... Let's just skip the introductions and all the fun. Begins when we go with the new game. But first... Oh no, yeah, I know what's, what's going on. Uh, I don't have my Witcher 1 saves prepared for this, plus this is not a continue LP, so... New game default settings will be used. And we skip the tutorial. I played this game, played this game so much, so many times already. Two, third playthrough on the way, and this one. So we go. I, I wonder, can we go insane? Hmm. No, this one's not a very good idea. Dark. I would like to try this, but I fear that that's the problem with difficulty for DLPs. Uh, the project shouldn't be so... I don't think that LP projects should be very long. So, we go with normal difficulty. Mm, because I'm quite used to it first. Second, uh, it should be quite uh, easy to get into the game with it. Uh, and I have a little problem with the loading screens in this game because uh, in Dragon Age and most of the RPGs uh, the loading screens were not present, uh, were present in the specific moments of the game. And in The Witcher, there is a problem because they happen and they don't. So let's go into this. Indeed, Noth is more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the name of Witchers, as they are the offspring of false sorcery and witchcraft. Unscrupulous scoundrels without consciousness and virtue, they are. Well, generally, it seems that whoever wrote this doesn't have a high standard for witchers. Uh, plus, we will play with English. Six years has passed since the middle day, memorable day when the Northern Kingdoms, their forces united, defeated the hosts of Nilfgaard in open battle at Brenna. Ah, yes, that's. Uh, the Brenna battle is generally uh, the moment where Sapkowski's works ends and the timeline for the game starts. Us and Dwarf inhabit ghettos, yeah. Nothing really changes in the Northern Kingdom, does it? In Temeria, an unidentified assassin attempts to murder King Foltest. The killer dies at the hands of Geralt of Rivia, a professional monster slayer. And a month passes on the bank of the Ponta River. Foltest army is victorious once more, ending civil strife in the country. Yet the price of this is high. I believe that was Temeria, the year 1271. 1171, if that's the correct. 12. 71. And here we have our main hero, Gerald of Rivia. Running. Plus, as you can see, he's quite a veteran considering the amount of. Huh. Well, how to call it? Uh, scars on his body. Oh, and our Witcher brethren. This is the beginning of The Witcher 1, by the way. Uh, the game starts the same. But we are in a more devious place. Uh -huh. Come on, Dungeon. Sixes, Daddy needs you. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, Twenty orange to granddad. <laughs> yeah. Looky there, he's awake. By the way, I'm playing you the game with a little Don't go in there. lower graphic settings, it. but He's I think it still looks thing. fine. Am I right, Master Geralt? I don't like these guys. Oh, I don't. By the way, I'm trying to figure out how to play Geralt. Roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back! Hmm. Fight, 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 fight. Aww. Look, this time. he's awake again. 
Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches would start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Folks say as they plow witches see, come the equinox. This game doesn't That's how they get those spooky treat you very gently. Enough. Tough language. Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. And basically beating. I'm not so easy to kill. And this is just the beginning. And we meet our first sort of a guy who can help us. Vernon Roach. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, now. Ah, the dialogue options. I'd shake your hand if I could, or very funny. <sighs> very funny. And the first dialogue option, and I already can tell you that in the Polish language version it's much more. Uh, funny? Yeah. <laughs> uh, much more vulgar, because in this, the very funny version here, in Polish language version, is uh, Endosie, which generally means uh, go plow yourself, or rather fuck yourself, but never mind. I'd shake your hand if I could. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Hmm. How foolish of me. Oh, very. Yes. Here we have the first woman in the game. Unshackle him. That's possible. She will do it. Great. You're free now. Get away. Get away. Go, get, go, go away. Go away. Aww. Geralt. Really Shake hands. Why not? Care to introduce us? <laughs> no thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire and if I refuse, oh, sorry. I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Tamaria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. And yes, the important bits, we will start from the beginning. Uh, by the way, I decided to play Geralt uh, with Roach help, you know. Uh, I'm not saying that I will decide to go with his path. Uh, you'll find out later what that means, but... Or some of you probably already know. Uh, but we will be playing more or less uh, sort of a more honorable Witcher. And he will help us in the future, so... The morning, the kings summoned me. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Witcher, are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, hmm. summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King. We heard you. 
A pleasant day to you, my lady. Witcher. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, unlike some people, uh, I'm not very fond of uh, this in part in the game. Stupid war. It's very good and it's very fine. A, a war but, can never be stupid when waged by your king. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, uh, I know that some people had problems with uh, this uh, during a Witcher LP, so nudity will be when it will appear, and I will think about it yet, yet, but I will try to cut this uh, the way you saw already. Uh, people are dying because of lovers, but yeah. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. <laughs> Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Foltest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. <laughs> and I'll see Fortress right. is summoned. Protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Period. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, and now we get the beginning. Uh, let's stick with the dream. Uh, not to mention that I really like the the way this game, the scene generally introduces you to a lot of things in the same time. It introduces you to the relationship between Geralt and Triss. It really it shows you the general setting of the whole. Uh, Geralt tells you exactly why we are here, uh, what we are going to do. We are going to protect the king, and 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 we also get the attitude that Geralt has towards the king, uh, etc. And, and in general situation here. Uh, and that really uh, highlights the main thing about him uh, as a character. Okay, that dream. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest, the wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto, something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People they? claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. Yeah, by the way, uh, about the assassin. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the king's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Hmm. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. Yeah. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now. But masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, I think that the, the English translation uh, works very well. Uh, at least when it comes to the meaning. Uh, a lot of um, what I know about these games, the, the translation and uh, the way it was presented in the English version, and the, the way one we are playing, uh, a lot of, you know, very tiny, small, uh, humorous, and uh, sometimes vulgar even elements uh, are lost in the translation. Uh, but nevertheless, the scouts. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. <laughs> a dragon? In the midst of civilization? Please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. 
although it could be a fork tail or a slizzard, maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The yep. scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. She's more or less true. Now, when it comes to the fact that witches don't have dragons, uh, that's because dragons aren't technically monsters. Uh, well, if you go very deep into the game, uh, I can't. That's basically in the final uh, moments of the game. You can find out what is the origin of monsters. Monsters were created because of some unusual events that usually had no natural cause. And dragons are lizards, so they are they are more of a uh, you know sort of monsters are uh, abominations, things that uh, defile the natural order. While uh, dragons don't defy natural order because they are normal lizards. They are intelligent or half-intelligent uh, beings that are more like animals to this world uh, than monsters. All Time right. to go. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Good to know. And here we are, uh, starting to move around. And the game seems to lose some... Uh, wait a second. First we go with this, grab Orans. Uh, before I end this... Nothing over here. Triss. And whoa, well, that's light. This game looks, ex looks ex exempl exemplary beautiful when you turn off everything without even without the uber sampling uber sampling is something uh, how I understand it, the uber sampling makes the game calculate each frame a few times and chooses the best one so extremely difficult what else do we have here? let's speak with this guy because he's a Temerian recruit and not many people know that you have a dialogue oh, with him Morning, Witcher. Those blades of yours should be useful today. Oh, you will see. Uh, battle plan. Oh, no, with a mountain assault. Finally. Truth be told, I'd rather sit here than risk my neck on those walls. Hmm. Anything about the assassin? Tests would be assassin. You said you'd ask around. I put the word out. I did. Man. It's a riddle wrapped inside a secret. I thought you knew people who could help. I can give you any cutthroat in Temeria. Problem is, your assassin came from elsewhere. <laughs> sure. sure as you stand before me. Which means not an inside job. At least not an inside Temerian job. I did what you asked. You killed the cockatrice. Wonderful. Tough job. When I did Looking that. Witcher's work. I'll have your coin as soon as we finish off the lavalettes. I'll be generous, I promise. I'd yeah. like it beforehand. Promises made before battle are often hard to keep. Yeah, uh, and in Polish language version you have here a line, Geralt says that a soldier on the war is not a perfect place for uh, investment, or <laughs> capital, something like this. Uh, in a sense that, of course, it's not a good place to have debts or money. Take care. Oh, uh, these guys. <laughs> these guys are funny. But before that, uh, yes, let me show you the inventory sir. screen. And let's change the inventory. Blue stripes combat suit. Mage's trousers. Plus 5 signs. Hundred drop and damage bonus to signs. Uh, I'll probably play Geralt uh, the usual when it comes to skills. So uh, signs and uh, fighting. Plus we will have to put these... Uh, oh no, 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 here. Uh, yeah, generally, that's how our Witcher looks la like now. Uh, that way we can... Yeah, that would be enough for now, I think. Uh, or no, let's go with this dialogue as well. Because this dialogue is funny. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers! Reavers? Oh. As did Boholt! After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. <laughs> I doubt that's amnesia. Yeah. I get it. A 
and this one here they call Desperate. And this is new boy. He's um, apprenticing with us like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now new boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, <laughs> we all got a little rile. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorcerers too. Boholt was just fooling about the <laughs> rape and all. Rape? Uh, this is a reference to one of Sarkovsky's work, uh, very known, uh, very funny uh, novel, part of the novels, uh, or rather, it was maybe not the novel, but uh, it was rather uh, not the novels, but uh, short stories about uh, a hunt for the golden dragon, or rather, for the dragon. Uh, it was quite a funny one, and uh, I highly recommend if you have. I will give you a rundown of it later. Uh, because Yennefer also happens to be there. What rape? Shut your trap, Desperate! The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. Really? So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the <laughs> sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon. The sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize. And we argued, there was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. Yeah. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. But the dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. You even freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven Aired she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Uh, Conifer or some such. Conifer. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? Uh, yeah, what's what the problem? What kind of trouble are you in? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy better night that he'll survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. Typical. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, with you. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we come into this bauble that's supposed to protect it, magically like. You might cast in an expert's glance at it, mm, seeing yeah. the sorcery and such is not strange to you. Let me see this bauble. Mm-hmm. What's Your this? Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Uh, I don't want to show you everything, so uh, I doubt it. There's clearly magic in the trinket, but I doubt it'll deflect swords or arrows. Shit, I knew it. I told you so, you idiot. <laughs> Screw honor. Don your metal, new boy. You'll go into battle, confessional and all. So be it. Though I'd like to have fleeced the noble. Damn shame. Never mind. Uh, there's also a bunch of things to do here before... I will do it in the second attempt, I think. That to mean, me... Also remember in this game to collect stuff. Seen what they did to Jasper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys aren't really that funny. Uh, most of the dialogues here are also quite... <laughs> ...funny. And yeah, we see the castle back there, and the trebuchets. One of the... Very interesting type of uh, uh, weapons. Oh, I fired myself. Not good. Stop! Stop burning, please. Uh, yeah. So that would be for now, and then we'll explore the rest of the camp in this next attempt. Word is, way up north, there's a tribe of wild men who go into battle. Start making some. Wait a second. Where was the hell? Was that? Too true. Word is, okay. uh, and then we go find the king, of course. Yeah, here's something as well. The king thinks. Oh yeah. So in the second episode, we go down there. Uh, Laid some dice, I think, and uh, a little bit of uh, friendly handshake. So thanks for watching.